everyone, I'm Amy, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a bookshelf tour because I have this bookshelf behind me and I have a bookshelf over there. Personally, I really, really enjoy watching these videos and I wanted to make my own. Also, I want to do this because it's a way of documenting how many books I have and what books I have. Because hopefully in like a year or something, I'll be able to do another one of these and show you how my collection of books has grown and changed. If you have any questions about anything, then just leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to get back to you. I just want to talk about what bookshelves I have. This bookshelf behind me is the Jersey bookshelf from Ikea. And then the bookshelf over there, which you'll see later, is the Kallax bookshelf from Ikea also. The bookshelf over there has is half filled with books. Is it half? Yeah. Half filled with books and the other half has DVDs and CDs and stuff in it. But I'll show you those as well. And then this shelf behind me is pretty much all books. So yeah, let's just get into the video. This is just an overview of the first bookshelf that I'm going to go through. So yeah, it just looks like this. On top of my bookshelf I have this button bouquet from my dad's wedding. I then have this bag which has a leather bound notebook in it. I have the box for my Ariana Grande perfume and then I have two Funko Pops, both from Adventure Time. The first one is Finn and the second one is Jake. This first shelf is like my YA contemporary kind of shelf. Not all of these are red books, even though I'd say like maybe 60-65% of them are red. So firstly I have this little purple plush octopus this little clownfish plush and i don't know where i got this someone got it me as a present and i can't remember if it was my stepmom or my friends but i got it off one of them and it's really cute this funko pop which is off harry with um hedwig i paid way too much money for this pop like when i could have got it so, so much cheaper because i got it from hmv this pin badge which is oh my god my shelf's so dirty i have this pin badge which is from illustrator jake and i got it at birmingham comic con this year i think it's so gorgeous it's a game boy and it's all pastel and it's really, really cute this chip mug which is from primark i did use this for a while hence why a lot of the paint's coming off it but now i have a different mug and I have this on my shelf now and it's really really cute. I'm just going to talk about some standout books for me. Perks of Being a Wallflower is just an amazing book and I think everyone should read it. I recently read Paper Towns by John Green and it's a book I've been meaning to read by John Green for ages because if you don't know he's my favourite writer and it was a really really good book. Um, I would definitely recommend reading it. Um, a couple of new books I have on here are Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda and The Hate You Give. I haven't read any of these three yet. I was meant to read them this month and then I just ended up going in kind of a big reading slump. Another standout book that I have is Supernova by Erica Waller. This is just a really, really good book. There's so many different elements to it and I just really, really would recommend it. I have all of my hardback John Green books. Obviously The Fortnite Stars is amazing. Again, Turtles All The Way Down is an amazing book. And then... <laughs> so I have an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green which came out a couple years ago and then I have a, beauti a beautifully foolish endeavour and this doesn't come out for like another five days I'm filming this on the 3rd of July and I got it yesterday this isn't supposed to come out until the 7th four days then um, but my copy came super duper early I haven't started reading it yet um, but these are both signed. This one is from Waterstones and then this one I got from Forbidden Planet. Then I have my Shadowhunters shelf. This includes all of my main Shadowhunters books. I have this Funko Pop and this is Dementor Funko Pop. This is my favourite Harry Potter Funko Pop. I just love it. I think it's so cute. I have this key ring which is a steel and it's from the City of Bones movie merch. And I just got this on off of Amazon. I paid way too much money for it, but it's super cool and I really like it. Just have this tea light holder, which my parents got me again, I think, from Scotland. But it's so pretty. We have Chain of Gold, um, all of the Mortal Instruments books, the Infernal Devices, and then the Dark Artifices and the Shadowhunters Codex. I love Cassandra Clare. I love the Shadowhunters books. My favourite trilogy or my favourite series is The Dark Artifices. It wasn't a series I enjoyed most whilst reading it, but I just think it did so many things that aren't done in literature, like, a lot. And I just really, really loved it for that purpose. Like, it broke a lot of stereotypes and I just really, really enjoyed it. Then we have my Paranormal Romance plus a random fantasy book and a random dystopian series. Um, so I have the Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick. I'm reading finale currently. I then have the Ark of Asides trilogy by Neil Shusterman. This is really, really good. I haven't read The Toll yet. A bunch of um, Stephanie Meyer books or books related to Twilight. 
Um, I do really, really like Twilight, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I haven't read The Host yet and I haven't read The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, but I am determined to read the Brie Tanner novella before Midnight Sim comes out. I also have Children of Blood and Bone by Tony Adiani, which I've had for like eight months and I still haven't read and I feel really bad about it. I have this little Christmas decoration, which is an angel. Um, I have a cinnamon Yankee candle and I have this, which is a new purchase that I absolutely adore and it's from the Disney store and it's a Tangled mug. I'm not gonna disclose how much I paid for it because I paid way too much for it, um, but it's gorgeous. It's the lantern and then it has the tower as the handle and on the inside it says reach for the stars. If you know me, I love Tangled and I love the tower. I just think it's so beautiful. Then we have the rest of my Shadowhunter books. So this includes The Brain Chronicles, Goes to the Shadow Market, Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, The Red Squad of the Magic, The Illustrated History of Notable Shadowhunters and Diz Dinizens. Oh my gosh, I cannot say that. Dinizens of Downworld. I then have my 10th anniversary edition of City of Bones and I have two special edition copies of Chain of Gold. Just, I got a bit excited because it was the first Shadowhunter book that I was going to... Like, I was a fan of the books before a book came out. Like, this was the first book I was getting, like, pre-order for. Um, so we have this copy, which is the Fairy Loot one. Um, and it has the stenciled edges with Cortana. And it's a really, really gorgeous copy. And then I also have the Waterstones exclusive. I love them a lot. This, which is from the Fairy Loot chain of gold collects edition box the wicked what <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying i have the folk of the air trilogy um so i got all these books second hand um and that included just the paperback of the cool prints a signed first edition i'm pretty sure it's a first edition i don't know um, but i got a signed copy of the wicked king and then i got a waterstones exclusive of queen of nothing um and yeah this series is very very good i would recommend it. I have my Beetlejuice the musical enamel pin from where I know I saw it in February and I love this. So you're gonna have to have me being wobbly for it again. And then this is kind of just the rest of my dystopian books. Um, so I have the Hunger Games trilogy and the Ballad of Sunboats and Snakes, the Divergent trilogy and the add-on book four. I haven't read four yet but I, I just have it anyway. And then I have this copy of Allegiant, which is a Barnes & Noble exclusive, which is signed. I have the Hunger Games books. Um, I'm like, I got like halfway through Death Cure a couple years ago, and I haven't finished it since. I just have some random books that I don't care about as much. Well, I do like Milk and Honey. And I have my Time Turner from Noble Collection. This is just a quick overview of my Calaps bookshelf. So yeah, this houses all of my Harry Potter books. And my children's books and then books that I don't really read um, as well as my DVDs and a load of other stuff. The original copies of the Harry Potter books copy which is a American Philosopher's Stone. The books behind there but they're not really books that I've read or plan to read. I just have them stored behind there because I need to get rid of them. Quidditch Through the Ages, Tales of Beelzebub, Bard and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them as well as my original copy of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Then I have all of my film and just big Harry Potter books. Harry Potter Page to Screen which is an amazing book because there's a lot of film Harry Potter books. If you just want to get one of them get this one because it has everything in. It has covering the costumes and it's just a really really good book and the pictures in it are absolutely beautiful. Um, I then have the character vault and film wizardry again. This is a really good one to get if you just want to get one film book because this has loads of like pull out things. So there's like a Yule Ball invitation, there's a mini Marauders map in here and this book is really cool. I have my like special brochure thing for Cursed Child from the first time that I saw it um, which is like a really special thing to me and I really love it a lot. And obviously I have the journey um, which is like the like the making of Cursed Child essentially and I really love that. I have a couple of like Harry Potter magazines and stuff including like the Time Special one and a Warner Brothers Studio Tour like guide thing. I then have my three illustrated editions of Harry Potter. I haven't got a Goblet of Fire yet and I don't know if I am going to buy the rest of them. I mean I probably will end up doing them or last for Christmas or something because I got these. I got these two for Christmas and then my mum randomly bought me this one because I asked for it. Um, but these are really really gorgeous. I just don't tend to 
read them if I'm gonna read the Harry Potter books. Like they are really, really gorgeous and I love them a lot. Prisoner of Azkaban is probably my favorite. Fantastic Beasts, Magical Movie Handbook. Harry Potter on Location, which is a book I got when we went to Oxford and my dad got this in one of the shops because it has a lot of stuff about Scotland in there. This book, which is a quiz book, which I think my friend Jack got me for Christmas. The cover is so nice. Fantastic Beast screenplays and my Scorpius Malfoy wand from Cursed Child. So I know this isn't a really pleasant angle, but we, we're gonna have to deal with it. In this cube, I have all 13 of the series of unfortunate events books. I will finish these one day. When I was like 12, I think, I got halfway through the Hostile Hospital and then I never ended up finishing them. So I have about six of them left to read and I will do it at some point because I know I could easily read one of these in a day. Um, it's just me needing to find the willpower to do it. The Percy Jackson books, I've read the first three of these. Um, I've just got the last two left, so I don't know when I'm gonna read these. I feel like I might end up reading them in like August or something. They're really fun. Um, they're really fun books. They're really great. I also have Anne of Green Gables, which my stepmom randomly gave me, and I don't know if I'll ever will read it, but I've got it for now. Some like school books, um, and then I have the classics. So I have Pride and Prejudice, which I read like a third of it, and then I have Withering Heights and A Tale of Two Cities, which I haven't read yet, but I will read one day. I will read it one day. I have a couple of books which I studied for GCSE, a couple of books my dad gave me on running that he wants me to read. Um, and just some other random books. I have this one, which is Percy Jackson Greek Heroes. This is a really cool book, which I haven't read, but I've had for a while. And it's basically Percy retelling the original Greek mythology stories. Um, and it's something I do really want to read at some point because I do want to know like the original, like the original myths. So yeah. So these two are my two DVD cubes. Sorry, Twitter notifications. <laughs> So this one, I think, this is pretty much all Disney. The only ones that aren't on here, that are on here, that aren't Disney, are these two, which is Cloud of the Chance Meat Wars and Spyroot Chronicles. These are all the DVDs from when I was really, really little. Well, most of them are. These are like my childhood DVDs. So there's obviously like a couple in here that aren't. Um, so Tangled isn't. That's one I asked for for Christmas. And Wreck It Ralph, I think I asked for for Christmas one year. But all of the rest of them, and not this one. I like my original childhood DVDs. I just really like having them on my shelf. Obviously I have Disney Plus now, so I don't really need any of these, but I really just like the look of them and I like having them, especially when the Wi-Fi doesn't work. Now over here, we just have any films basically that aren't Disney. Um, I recently watched Fight Club, that was pretty cool. Obviously I have Twilight, The Hunger Games, um, Heroes, which is a DVD, no, it's a TV show that I need to finish it at some point. I have Bohemian Rhapsody, which is a really good film. School of Rock, one of my favourites. And yeah, there's some 80s films on here. We've got the original It, and yeah, I think that's about it. These are all my CDs down here, and I also have all of my DS games behind that, and my DS is here. My favourite CDs from here are Panic at the Disco, A Fever You Can't Split Out, Melanie Martinez, K12, um, any Ariana Grande CD and the original Twilight soundtrack, that is a great soundtrack. In here I have a couple vinyls, which are the only vinyls I have here, which is Badlands by Halsey and a few of you can't swear, oh, by Panic at the Disco. I also have all of my bookmarks here and some Harry Potter Funko Pops, as well as the Chain of Gold Fairy Loot book slip case thing, what are they called? Book sleeve. And I really love this. Um, it's really good if I have like a big hardback because they're just really really great <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed my voice is like dead i've just talked so much and my voice hurts now love that yeah, thank you for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed again if you've got any comments or anything just leave them in the description and i'll try and get back to you um yeah i really like my books i also wanted to say that i'm not trying to brag in any way in this video some people may think I have a lot of books, some people may think I don't have a lot of books. I know there's a lot of people on YouTube that have a lot more books than I do, but I really do enjoy the collection of books I have right now. Um, give me some book recommendations. If I have, if I don't have a book that is one of your favourite books, then leave it in the comments and I will check it out. And yeah, thanks for watching. Um, see you in my next video. Bye!